Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another preview for Gotham Knights. Quite uh, a lot of information came out about Gotham Knights within like the past couple weeks, so this will probably be a combination of a whole bunch of things. So let's just get started with the first 60 minutes of gameplay via IGN first. So let's see what they had to show. It's like the more I see this IGN game, first for August oh. is Gotham Knights, and we real quick. The more I see of this game, like the less impressed I am. At least that's been the recent trend within like the past couple previews. I'm not saying that I'm not interested in playing it anymore. I definitely still am, but it's just like starting to the the picture of what this game actually is for me is starting to form, and it's not as cool as I thought it was gonna be. But it's also I don't know. I don't know. They there there's some there's some room for improvement. Jarhead Jason, yeah, we're Kicking gonna see Jarhead Jason in this. Minutes of gameplay. This section follows the prologue, which WB Montreal is still keeping secret, and will be the first. I'm definitely excited Detroit for the Core of the Owl story. After if they handle this well, it could be one of my favorite this Batman games. To tutorialize some of the game's basic traversal and combat mechanics, as well as introduce you to the wider mystery taking place in Gotham Ooh, okay. following the death of Batman. Excellent. This Enjoy. is exactly what I need. This is exactly what I need. So this will be a good. Um, good way for me to judge. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. Oh, that I didn't like. Mm, I didn't like that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? And it doesn't look complete. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. So you can decide who to switch the the camera to. I don't like the camera spin though. That doesn't look a few places we should poke around. Very good to me. Construction sites and quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist huh. at Gotham University. I don't know about this. Sure is this seems like a way to kind of not have to do a cutscene where you have to show everybody's faces, but at the same time make it feel like you can just decide who you want to look at. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? I don't know. I don't, I don't like it so much. Batgirl looks like Jane Levy. I gotta Google this person. <laughs> Jane Levy. I'm sure I've probably seen her before. Oh! I could see it. You kinda right. You kinda right. <laughs> I feel like I'd, I'd have to get this on like PS5, just to make sure it's looking clean and crispy. Well, that was a big old crotch shot. What do we know so far about this professor? Not Langstrom. Judging by the half-finished file with the code black, Batman mm. was digging into a hardcore. He sounds kind of scary. And I'll pick up where Batman left off. They didn't put any subtitles on this. It's gonna whack. Sorry for for those that might be hearing impaired in the chat. I know even for me, like subtitles help a lot. If you're really trying to understand what somebody's saying. Damn, she got hops. She's just floating. Almost flying. Really like the, the look of the game, though. Like, that definitely feels like Gotham, and that's exciting. So, we got a positive ID on this faculty dude. Kirk Langstrom. Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Seriously? Crap. Well, <laughs> crap. Got 
So we still got the grapple. So we can zip Those around. Balconies open. I wonder if back I row if I do. can um, like extend the I cape to glide. Reporting. Our cape's pretty small. Okay, so I see some an owl. Not a good sign. For her. Here's his office. She's a stiff walk. Hmm. Hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been good killed lord. Else. This is a mess. Those marks look fresh. Professor is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least the lead. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. Hmm. I don't know when they had to have that open and close. If they were still having a conversation, that was a little strange. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, that has to be. There's no way you write that line and not be referencing it. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Hmm. That was a violent must have been death. When he was attacked, significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Damn, this Langstrom game looks really good. Fine, but he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important? Mm. Hmm. A hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? Tutorial Invest in Crime Scenes. Thermostat would be a clever place to hide a keypad. Eh, that doesn't even look like a thermostat. I hope Langstrom wasn't combining burritos with genetic specimens. Langstrom? Man bat? Langstrom made sure to remember Maybe. those dates. I should too. 20th and the 21st of October. A phone number, but that's not a Gotham area code. Great ghost Easter egg. That'd be useful. Yeah. I need to read more about Batman, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm like a Time surface level Batman fan. So Nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. I'd like to learn some more. Mm-hmm. So then why would he be trying to get in here if he was dying though? Oh, good roll. Some heated cages. Some squeaky rats. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? Oh gosh. Shark professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. Is that a crab spider? It's disturbing, is what it is. I can't even see what that is. Hearts? Is it something else? That was a huge heart. Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to Damn, that's a big hard drive. I didn't know what I thought it was a tablet. Secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. We are on the walls, and apparently at least not for Gotham cops. Secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Great. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Now who she's gonna fight. 
Who's she gonna fight when she walks out? Really? Nobody's there? Okay, there we go. Hmm. That was a choice. They must have been sponsored by Wendy's for this video. There's no way. This guy. He doesn't seem like he's made for this. Ooh. I don't know if they, they toned down like the impact effects. Because I felt like it was a lot before. Maybe a, I'm thinking of a different game. But I... I think I felt like I was a lot before, but now it looks a lot more reasonable. At least for Batgirl. Maybe it's different for some other characters. Gotham needs to see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. Mmm, now we get to fight. Ah, oh, the sneaky sneaky. Yeah, please do, actually. I'm starting to get annoyed by the cell. I need to handle these guys before this gets any worse. Thank you. Mm. You deserve a break. Quiet. Clear out all the freaks. What was she? What the heck? What was she doing just now? Thought like she was jumping rope with the fire. That's one. Hmm. I can probably stay out of sight here. So they brought some more friends. Remain undetected. Okay. What's going on? Isn't this like punch stuck on his head? Looks weird. Are these guys like, why do they sound like the stupidest people in Gotham right now? Like, not all thugs are dumb, guys. <laughs> At least not this dumb. So I think the next thing I want to see is um, just like full on brawl. What does that combat look like? I'm getting like a little taste of it here, but it's feeling like not quite as fluid. Like that girl will attack an enemy and they'll just stand there kind of like stunned for a second. Um, and not all attacks should be like that. So we're definitely missing that kind of fluid like exchange, at least and that first fight must be oh no i i don't know if i can read that one out <laughs> oh man i mean it's not like that bad but it's still that's some disrespect right there mystery you knew how this was gonna end i'm gonna leave that one alone Mm. Looking at this, it kind of makes me think about, um, of course, the, the Batman Arkham games. I think, like, 
the combat system is probably pretty similar, but it might be because like the Batman Arkham games, a lot of the fighting situations you would get into, at least just from watching this, looked a little bit more like close quarters. Like everybody was kind of like crowding in on you, trying to get the next hit. Whereas this, like this is a pretty wide open space and um, let me get rid of this ad. Pretty wide open space uh, where the enemies can kind of spread out and they also like kind of wait to jump in instead of like all attacking at the same time. Uh, which is definitely, you know, like a different style. It's not like how, at least I feel, Batman Ar Arkham felt. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if it works out. What the hell? He literally just stole a kettlebell from the gym and it's like, yeah, this will work. This will work. Um, glad they don't move so stiff. No, yeah, they're definitely... There's some fluidity to it, but I think like what I'm missing is kind of like the quick pace of it and like the feeling of like, okay, like I'm handling this guy right now, but there's somebody behind me, so I gotta get a move off of him and then there's kind of like area control kind of stuff, which can be overwhelming at times, so maybe this is a better model for combat. What's hap- what? What? Why didn't you go get some licks in? Hmm. It could also just be the way that the, the person playing the demo is presenting the combat. Like, it could be completely different once we actually play the game, so that's another thing to consider, too. Mm. Firefighters and paramedics are on the way. Are you hurt? I'm good. Looking forward to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon. This doesn't look challenging, to be honest. I'll wait to see how the game plays. Yeah, it's definitely like that. That's part of what I'm saying with like the the enemies kind of. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. The enemies kind of like waiting their turn. Uh, like. There are quite a few games that do that now, too. So it's not like this is completely unheard of. But I think it's just... It will be different if the fighting was like a little bit more fluid. Like, you get a hit off, they try to get a hit off, and like you can counter and then hit again. Or something like that. But it feels like, boom, boom. And then you're like waiting, waiting, boom. Like, that's the next attack. Versus if they wanted to go this kind of like more slow you could say a little bit more methodical kind of combat it would make more sense at least for me to have more enemies try to attack you at once to add that tension because right now it doesn't really feel like a tense battle uh and again it could just be the way that the person playing the demo is presenting the game uh but we'll we'll see we'll see Gotham Knights may have four characters to choose from, but in truth, there are dozens of ways to make them fit your chosen playstyle. In this video, we're going to show you just this, with gameplay of two completely different high-level red Night Gremlins builds. again? Possibly, man. I don't know. Whatever it is, needs to quit it. <laughs> we made the decision the Gotham Knights collectively were working together and they, they were reflecting this notion of the bat family so our red Hood, but um what i was saying earlier it looks like we're gonna get to see co-op and both players are playing person, red hood especially at the start of the story um, but we wanted them all to be on board which you can do in co-op so that'll be interesting that to see we are in, walking the path of batman after his death all of them are on board with the non-lethal strategy. So the Marksman Tree is kind of self-explanatory. It's really about dealing more damage at range. Red Hood is our most range-focused character out of the Gotham Knights. So and you can also freaking fly. Oh my gosh, I, I forgot about that. Guns with non-lethal rounds, and I would like to make them as damaging as possible while remaining non-lethal. Using his freaking magic powers. That is still very low. Oh my gosh. That was bad. It's a weird concept though. Alright. No, yeah, it is weird to me, but 
like it's not something that's just completely off-putting, I guess. Hmm. I wonder how you initiate that. Ooh, here's the bike. Bet they wish they never got I wonder if that. there are different bike skins. Probably not. They haven't mentioned it, so... You would the think they would mention it with all the customization stuff. ...is about melee combat, but more importantly, it's about powering up the fact that Red Hood is our largest character, and he's got the best grab-and-throw mechanics in Gotham Knights. That's a really, you know, sort of oh, hand-to-hand cool. -hand focused uh, skill tree. So if you're think of... into that style of play, it's a great place to invest early to get the most out of Red Hood. I don't know, actually. It's gonna say Hellboy, but Hellboy doesn't look like that. So the Brawler build. Okay, so you can... Oh, that's right. There's, a, there's I th believe, a skill tree in this, so you can, like, spec into whatever skills you'd like to focus in. Your business elsewhere. Whoa, that's a large woman. Oh my gosh. So I wonder, um, since they said like Red Hood is like focusing on range, but this seems to be. I wonder if he could do a little range, a little brawler. I think that would be the perfect mix for me, personally. Because, come on, if you're if you're a big dude, how, how are you gonna just do range attacks? Like, you gotta you gotta get in there. You gotta scrap a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. That was slick. I'm kind of liking how the combat is looking with more enemies present. It feels like a little bit more, like, high tension. It's definitely not as fluid as, like, the Arkham games where you're kind of, like, flowing from one enemy to the next just because they were, like, so compact. Um... But it's just a taste of the different ways it's, you can build it's out making your chosen its own hero style, and you can't be mad at it. Stay tuned later this week where we'll be digging into skill trees and how they work. Oh, well, later this week. From our Gotham Knights hmm. IGM first, check out the first 16 minutes of gameplay. There or... was all of the Gotham Knights news up to today, the 16th of August. So we'll probably hear a little bit more, um, I guess, later this week, which I'll, I'll, I'll talk about. Um, and hopefully a timely matter, but I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Gotham Knights. I'm like a little bit more hopeful still. I don't know if it's going to be a day one. Um, I definitely do want to play it. Uh, I think like the parts that I'm really more so curious about, like kind of like the detective aspects and, uh, I guess like how they're going to handle the court of the owl's story is not so much being expanded upon, which to be expected because that's not necessarily the meat of the game depending on who you talk to but it's a big focus and it's not something they want to spoil um but yeah i think everything i've seen so far has been cool so looking forward to seeing some more um so for those on youtube don't forget to hit the like button subscribe so that way you see more of my videos in your feed and uh I'll see y'all in the, the next little bit of gaming news. So until then, hope y'all have a nice eating, wire night, whereas enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.